Today on Toy Shiz, these new figures got me seeing red. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive Transformers Red. That's robotic and hands designed to you, Starscream and Bumblebee. This particular Starscream is from Transformers the Movie. This is Coronation Starscream. It even says Transformers the Movie right at the tippity top. I love this character. It's my favorite Transformer, and he bit the desk the best in that Transformers movie. That's for sure. The back of the box shows all the pictures. I love the Transformers red packaging. Literally slick. Very cool. Here's the barcode as well. Then we have Bumblebee from Transformers G1. Really nice artwork. I love the packaging on this. It's killer. Very cool. Very Japanese-ish. I don't know. It's just... It speaks to me on the store shelves, right? All the weapons. Here's the barcode as well. And like I said, they're hitting Walmart store shelves now. That's where I found mine. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Energon. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive Transformers Red Series Coronation Starscream and Bumblebee by Hasbro. And here's the two figures taken out of the packaging. Now for Starscream, I did assemble him beforehand. He just doesn't walk out of the packaging just like this. No, no, no. I wish. <laughs> One thing I do like about the Red Series is all the accessories you get. So for Bumblebee, you get an extra trigger holding hand and you also get a fisted hand. He also comes with two blaster effects. One long, one small. They are okay. They're shaped a bit odd. Being completely honest with you, but I really like his blaster. Yes, it's very evocative like old Power Ranger weapons, just flat gray plastic but the beam effects will fit in right at the tip, and that is very cool. Long blaster, short blast, you got it all right there. He also comes with an Energon cube. It's all pink. It's done fine. It's a cube. One really cool thing would have been if it lit up some kind of battery enhancement. I don't know if that would have been really cool to see. Bumblebee himself is a really nicely done Bumblebee from afar. You didn't play with it. Anything other than just it sits on the shelf, it's... Pretty well done, well sculpted. It's got some articulation points. It's just very janky. I'm gonna be honest, it's very cheapy. There's something up with it. It doesn't feel right. It's very gummy, especially in the joints. It's a bummer because I actually really like the first wave Megatron and Optimus of the Transformers Red series. This one feels like they've gone back now. You can see just how rubbery everything feels. It's not solid. It's a good and a bad thing. Yes, you can throw this thing around, but at the same time, eh, see like that eye in the chest, it's kind of weird. The head articulation, not much. You're going to go left and you're going to go right with him. This chest piece is, I just wish it was better. You know what I mean? Like it comes right off. You can see some sculpt details in there, but this is how you do his ab crunch. And it works. Yeah, he's a block that can crunch, basically. You have to think about these things in blocky robots, not flesh and bone. You simply put this right back on the front, but then when you want to use the ab crunch, no, this is going to get in the way. So it's a semblance of an ab crunch. I just wish it fit on better. He will twist at the waist. Go easy on the arms. The arms kind of freak me out a little bit because they're very stuck and they're not rigid enough to think that you're moving them. It's like you're bending plastic instead of bending at the joints. He does have some really nice double jointed elbows. He'll spin at the wrist. The wrists are very loose on mine. So in that sense, right here, it kind of seems like these would open. They don't as far as I can get in there, but it seems like they would open. I don't know. It just the way it feels, the way it looks to me. The legs work. He can do the splits. He can kick out. He can do all kinds of robotic gymnastics if you want. He's got some robot thighs. He's got some robot double jointed knees to him. The feet rock. This little wheel comes off the back it's nicely sculpted it's just it's kind of janky and that's what's kind of eh, about it now with starscream I, like i said love starscream he comes with a pair of extra fists which is nice he's got open hands if you want to swap them out he's got blaster effects for his little side arms right there they slip on i'll show you that in just a second starscream himself is one of the most frustrating figures i have gotten in a while he looks good, just like Bumblebee from afar. Put him down on his shelf. That's what I'm going to do. Appreciate him from afar. Never going to touch him again because it's just very frustrating. The cape is nice. No paint on the back of this figure. In fact, little to no paint 
at all. The detail is largely on the front, right? He comes with his coronation crown, which is awesome. That's painted nicely. It's got some reds amidst the gold plastic. It slips right there on his head and it stays on there nicely. Now, this is the most frustrating, complicated part of this. It's attaching this cape, right? And it's also other things, which I'll show you, like this blaster that will consistently fall off when you try to do anything. He's also got very gummy joints, sometimes very stuck joints, and this blaster keeps coming off, so we're going to... Oh my God, I'm going to have to take this off if it falls off again. But just to show you the complicated nature of this. So you have the cape on the back, which then you have to take these things off, right? These are his shoulder pads. Uh, just take the blaster off. His very 80s shoulder pads. So you hook those into there. And then on the other side, you take it off and do the same exact thing. Try getting it on in that sense. It looks easy peasy. Not really. They peg on right there. They peg into his shoulders. You got to get everything just right along with the wings that clip on and off. At least they clip on and off. But then it's a complicated mess, basically. <laughs> If I'm being honest with you. Yeah, the wings will tuck back if you want, but that's not Starscream's look, just FYI. And overall, you have a nice looking Starscream, except for this blaster that continuously falls off. Doesn't want to fall off when you shake it, of course, but as soon as you touch it. This side, very snug on there, fits on nicely. Now with this blaster piece right here, you simply get the blast effect, slip it right on the tip, and bango bango, you know, Starscream can start shooting off his repulsor blasts or whatever you want to call them right this side won't stay it's too loose it falls right off so it's completely useless unfortunately that's what's a huge bummer but in either sense like i said it's a nice looking star scream there is little to no paint on this guy to be honest and i think that's where it kind of gets lost these little pieces like bumblebee's back tire they come on and off it's odd <laughs> the head articulates basically well you get more than bumblebee so that semblance of articulation in the head he will twist at the waist as well this piece pops off right and then he has an ab crunch as well but again just like bumblebee <laughs> unless that piece is left off i mean you're not going to be able to do much with it so it's nice that it's there but then it really doesn't have any function to it he's got some nice arms a lot more solid than Bumblebee. He's got a semblance of a butterfly kind of deal. He's got bicep. He's got double jointed elbows. His hands, much like Bumblebee's as well, very loose. But I like the shape, the look of the hands. That's very much Starscream doing like the, hey, I'm getting coronated kind of thing. You can do the splits. You can do all kinds of robotic gymnastics with this guy. He's got thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees right here, which just go easy on him. But again, I think it looks cool. So you can get him in not a decent poses. He's got just basic flap to toe articulation. But again, while it's a nice looking Starscream from afar, he's very, very janky looking. This is where I think it loses all kinds of, okay, well, I'm being fine with it, but then they don't fit together scale wise. So here's the very first waves Megatron. And yes, this is a Megatron that uh, was customized and looks like he's all beat up from Transformers the movie. I really like the way this guy looks, but like I said, the Starscream is taller than this Megatron. So in the scaling wise, it's a total loss. Same thing with Bumblebee. Starscream's one thing. We all know how tall Bumblebee is supposed to be. So he's at that six inch mark. He's actually taller than Starscream. So again, doesn't fit. <laughs> Look at him with Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime looks like a little tiny robot man compared to this new Bumblebee. So. Yeah, it, it's going to be the same thing over and over. I mean, Starscream's taller than Prime, yada, yada. I am a huge Starscream fan. I like this Starscream as complicated as it is because I like the character. It's not just like a total loss in that sense. So he's kind of like a figure. You put him together and he sits on your shelf and he's Transformers the movie Coronation Starscream. He's 20 bucks and it works for me. If you're wondering for scale for other figure lines, DC Multiverse, Marvel Legends, you get the idea. To kind of wrap things up for you, these are two nicely sculpted figures. Are they executed well? Leaves more to be desired, let's be completely honest. I really like the way that they come with a ton of accessories. Sometimes they don't work out as well as you'd hoped, and they do have nice articulation for what they do, all by it some instances it's weird choices especially in the ab crunch with having to remove pieces these are non-transforming robots 
but they have a hard time articulate them. It's just kind of odd. Unless you're a huge Bumblebee fan, or if you have a Optimus Prime that can kind of fit with him, he's gonna be a pass for me. He's a great looking sculpt, it's a great looking figure, but who is this for in the sense of the scaling wise? Coronation Starscream, again, huge Starscream fan. Especially in his look right before he gets decimated by Galvatron. So I like him, but I'm not going to say he's perfect. He's got some issues here and there, especially with pieces falling off and that cape is very, very frustrating. But enough complaining, right? If you are a fan of Transformers, you may really like these, and that's cool. I'm a huge fan of Transformers, and I just see that some of the things are, eh, they work, and sometimes they don't. If you're getting toys for a kid, maybe you're trying to get them into Transformers and you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on really complicated, expensive transforming Transformers, this would probably be great for them. They are gummy enough to throw around, toss around, have some fun with, so they're solid in that sense. But for collectors, you know how we are. We get very nitpicky, yada yada. So I'm curious to know what you guys think about these Transformers red figures. Are they for you? Will you be picking them up and have you already? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers red. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. <laughs> I love that, he just annihilates him. And what do you do? Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon, adios.